<laughs> Third time's a charm. <laughs> Mike, hey, how are you, man? What's going on? Thanks so much for coming on Sunday, man. It really helps us out. That's well, yeah. And this one never leaked at all. Yeah, and you. Thank you again, man. I appreciate right. it. You know how you all right, so we're just leaving Thermico Marine Transmission here in Stewart, and this guy Mike here, he helped us out a lot, man. He hooked us up, and we got a completely rebuilt. Which way, Mike? Same exact transmission that we have. Um, Mike just happened to have it and, and it was rebuilt already and uh, so we got that and he let us keep our original transmission that we brought just to make sure everything matched up perfectly and it was all the same. We figured out with Mike what definitely a big problem is and that's like the back coupling on it. You guys, no one cares. Well, it turns out a lot of you guys do care and a lot of you guys are pretty technical and offered some really awesome advice for us to try to help us uh, diagnose our problem and rebuild the transmission. But basically what happened was the coupling on the very back of the transmission, the splines on the inside of that coupling and or the splines on the shaft, both were one and stripped and that's what was going on. So when I put the engine into gear, everything was spinning, transmission was working correctly and everything, but I was not getting any drive out of the back of that coupling. And then when I pushed up the throttle a little bit I was started to hear that grinding rubbing noise and that was just that that spline rubbing and the reason I didn't notice that was because there was just enough friction for when I turned either the coupling the gear inside the reduction housing was spinning like it was supposed to or when I turned that gear in the reduction housing the coupling would spin because there was enough friction between the two that they were making the other spin what when I would hold one put a little more pressure on one side that's when you can tell and I didn't even think to check that because I didn't take the nut and the coupling off or anything I didn't really mess with that piece at all and it's just just something simple that that's exactly what it was I probably didn't even have to take the transmission apart so thank you guys so much for all your help all your suggestions everything everything you guys have done let's get back to it all right going back and putting this thing back in the boat. I'm gonna put Mike's information down below. I'll put his website and phone number in the description. So if you guys ever need anything with transmission, marine transmissions, definitely uh, give him a ring. He has a lot of knowledge. This thing's so heavy. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Third time, rebuilt transmission that I didn't rebuild. Someone else rebuilt this one. Jetty, are you feeling lucky? Cross all those pots. Fluid Every stopped off. AC. We warmed the engine up already. Get the fluid pumping and I rechecked the transmission fluid level. <laughs> I have like butterflies in my stomach right now. <laughs> do you? Just do it. Two, one, go. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, now go in reverse. We have success. Yeah! It's working. Everything's working good. So it sounds smoother than it's ever sound before. Probably because there's no springs from the damper plate bouncing around in the bell housing. Look at this thing. That uh, barge is all the way from Boston. I'm thinking maybe it's sunk and they're taking it out and, and like salvaging it. 
How good does it feel to be back on the water? Moving forward, good. We're on the intercoastal somewhere between Daytona and St. Augustine. We're gonna stop in St. Augustine tonight. So we're going a little slower, we're not really pushing it. For those of you guys who know the boats, the stuffing box is getting a little warmer than usual. It's not a good drip coming through. Um, so I'm just gonna have to replace all that uh, packing inside there and we'll do that in St. Augustine. Um, so we're kind of just going slow, not spinning that, spinning that shaft too much. We got Sierra working out here. Dolphins right off our bow. I think we're gonna actually ride our wake this time. Oh, there's three of them. They haven't been riding our wake at all. Our bow wake. There they go. Come on, play with us. Yeah, there they go. They're starting to. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. Right there. You can hardly, it's hard to see because they're so dark. Uh, and over here we have a stork rookery. What's a stork rookery? Where they have their nest with all their babies. Is that them over there? Oh, yeah, the little white mom says that the babies that dropped off the baby. I was gonna ask, is that where babies come from? We're passing by Matanzas, Matanzas? Matanzas, yeah. Matanzas Inlet on the other side of this piece of land over here. But it's another area just like in New Smyrna where we hit bottom and that's what set off all our problems with the transmission and everything. It's kind of shoaling around the channels uh, closest to the inlet. Just gonna go real slow and stay right in the middle of the markers and hopefully we won't have any problems. Even in New Smyrna when we had, we were right in the middle of the channel, we still bumped hard on the bottom. We only draw three six. Really pretty area though. There's a lot of wildlife around here. Sarah's been spotting her roseate spoonbills everywhere. So this is where it's shoaling up. This bank is just extending all the way out. You have these green day markers to kind of show that it's, I don't know, just to help you guide you around this shoaling area. But I'm sure all in here is super, super shallow. Take that nice and wide. It looks like a ray. He's moving fast. He's cruising. There it is, Port Matanzas. First part of the lift. So we're passing by all these docks here that are like falling apart and the boats are falling off the lifts and stuff and I think I think a lot of this destruction is from Matthew the hurricane we just had this past fall and up here in uh, Daytona and St. Augustine Jacksonville they got hit real hard with it there's a big manatee or two they're stuck back here they're just flopping their tails up Arriving in St. Augustine, we're gonna try and find a place to anchor. Small little rain, rain squalls, but uh, I think we still got some daylight to check out this town. So we're gonna anchor up and go to shore, see what's going on. Where is it? Oh yeah, we gotta climb that thing. Lighthouse, right? There. These are all ospreys hunting for food. Rain's coming. We're just walking jetty here on the beach, right by the inlet in St. Augustine. This is such a beautiful area. A lot of. A lot of natural area and we got like this historic downtown. We're anchored right in front of the fort. Cool lighthouse. Can't wait to explore around here. Oh, it feels so good to finally be moving again and not have the stress of that broken transmission. We only put that into, I think it's gonna come out as like one or two videos, that whole thing. But 
we were, were week. yeah, we were stuck in Daytona for like seven, eight days. Yeah, it was kind of like we were just stuck. Yeah, and I was in the engine room all day, unless we were waiting for parts. Then I wasn't. But yeah, we're feels really good to be back cruising and exploring. And tomorrow we're gonna go see some cool stuff. Yes, we are. What are we gonna go see tomorrow? You have to decide. We're gonna see the alligator park. And we're gonna see what did I say? the Fountain of Youth. Are we allowed to drink from the Fountain of Youth? Yeah. You are? Yeah, it's dog friendly. They give you a little cup. I've been there. Before. Do you know the history that we can tell our audience? Watch the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie. <laughs> it's all about the Fountain of Youth. Is that uh, <laughs> accurate? <laughs> Spider crab. Look, I found I found a lure. You think we can catch a fish with this? I moved it. Come on, Jets! Come on! Come on! Come on! So there's the lighthouse right over there, and then we got a big, huge cross over there, and then there's the inlet. It's like right on the other side of this land, and historic St. Augustine's, like right over on that side of land and there's a fort right you can't see it's right there um and i know all these things have names and stuff and there's some history behind them but yeah we'll let you guys know tomorrow all right ready set go okay all right come on jets come on come on come on come on That was perfect. <laughs> so this is where we're anchored right here, just outside the channel. That's the inlet in the background. And then we got the big cross right here. And then we got the fort right here. And then we got like downtown historic St. Augustine right there. And the bridge of the lions right there. Pretty cool spot, huh? What you got there? Something that was once a sweet potato. <laughs> it probably fell to the bottom of the potato sack and we forgot about it. It was hiding under all the other potatoes. Uh-oh. Ugh. Want some wrinkly old sweet potatoes, Jenny? Check out this old boat going by. That thing is sweet. We just wanted to say thank you guys for coming with us. Thank you for bearing with our transmission fiasco and staying tuned. And we're in St. Augustine now. Sierra's got Castillo de Marcos in the background right there. What are you doing, Jess? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Or when I say tomorrow, I really mean like in two days because we do it like every other day. But we'll see you guys in a couple days. Hang out around St. Augustine. Oh, a few announcements. If you guys want to support this vlog, you can share it. You can thumbs up. You can comment. You can be a patron. Link in the description. You can shop on Amazon. do your own shopping. And go through our affiliate link. Link in the description. And you it's can follow Jenny. No extra cost to you for that Amazon affiliate link, and we get a small commission for referring you to Amazon. But there's no extra cost to you. You don't have to do anything. Just do your Amazon shopping. Just use the link below to get there, and that's it. Subscribe to Jetty's channel. Link in the description. I know that's a lot, but you guys don't have to do any of it if you don't want. Just do one thing, maybe. Just do it all if you want. All right. See you guys later.